Welcome to Camping with Steve. Today is Camping Roulette. Every major intersection, we'll spin and see which way we go. If we get to a dead end, we'll spin and see which way we go. This was beautiful wife's idea. She actually made the board of an old twister board. So, let's see where we're going here. Straight ahead. We can do that. And uh, yeah, every major intersection, we'll give her a spin. We're gonna get all the food we need for the journey along the way. We've got our basic camping gear, but the rest of it, uh, we're leaving to chance here on this, uh, on this camping roulette trip. Okay, we're at our next major intersection. That's time for another spin. Left it is. We're still fine-tuning the rules on this game. Essentially, the way we figure it is at five o'clock, we will go to the closest campground to us or the closest place to camp. And aside from that, we are gonna just collect everything we need food-wise, step two-wise. I'm getting pretty thirsty. It's a nice warm fall day, first day of fall. So hopefully we'll uh, find some supplies right away. We're at our next major intersection and we can't go straight here. So we gotta go left or right. And I really hope it's right because left is kind of the direction we came from. We don't wanna go in circles all day. And we're going in circles all day. <laughs> well. All right. We found a small town here that seems to have a store. We're gonna pull in there and see what I can find here for dinner. I'm not expecting fresh baked bread, let's put it that way, but I should have something. Okay, first things first I found, cheers and beer liquor mart, that looks good. And there's a supermarket here, which also is a liquor mart. So I think we'll be okay for liquor and I'll see what we can scrape together for a meal out of this small town supermarket. Could be worse, could be worse. Oh, I like, I like the looks of those, but I'm not anticipating any bread to be around here. Let's see, some frozen stuff. More frozen stuff. Oh, these are actually just completely empty coolers. <laughs> this will take some thinking. Hello again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I usually stay here. Oh, okay. Yeah, my wife will stay well, they need some help over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I just need a six pack of some yeah. some delicious beer. I can okay. go in here? Yeah, you okay. can come in. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Mm. Selection, selection, selection. What is step two? Beautiful. Okay, have a good day. You too, cheers. That actually went a little bit better than expected. We got eggs, can of beans, sour cream, pierogies, a bag of onions, some uh, bacon, and some uh, a garlic ham corollary. So that, uh, that'll keep us alive for a day, I think. All done in a tiny little, tiny little spot. Okay, we got all the supplies I think that we're gonna need, so time to get out of this town. And we're gonna see which way we go. Today we go to the left. All right then. We've got a roundabout up ahead, which is a major intersection. So we pulled over before we got there to decide which way we're gonna go. Oh, 
that's the left. That is a left. All right. All right, so of course we end up in an actual serious town now after I've dropped all that money at that little convenience store thing. And now we're passing like Walmarts and Superstores, but we've already got what we're gonna eat for tonight, so we're gonna go with that. I uh, will pick up a little bit of water to drink, however. But uh, I just couldn't pass up the opportunity not knowing if we're going through another town that's gonna have, you know, possibly a worse convenience store and then we'd be having potato chips and beef jerky for dinner or something. So I, I went on the safe side there and got what we could, but who knows? These are the fun adventures of these trips. Okay, next major intersection coming right up here. We've got about an hour to go until we have to right it is. We've got an hour to go before we have to start looking for the closest campsite. So uh, we'll go down that road. We're at the next major intersection and it's also getting pretty close to five o'clock. So this is probably the last one we're gonna have to choose for a while until we actually find our spot for the night. So let's uh, spin this thing, stretch our legs and see where we're going. All right. And the wheel says, we go right. All right, it is five o'clock and I've Google mapped our closest campground. It's 24 minutes away. Time to go and get everything set up. Less spinning and driving and more camping and hunkering down. Due to the magic of luck, we are in a almost completely empty campground. There's one other couple here by the looks of it. There is supposed to be somebody at the front that is parked there all season to collect the money. They're not there, but uh, we got the money in case somebody comes around. There's no booth to register ourselves as they sometimes have. And uh, we're gonna get our tent set up right on the lake. This is just amazing. It could have ended up a lot worse than this. And we found ourselves a new future campsite because this is just awesome. And I probably will be trying on my Enchroma glasses here in a little bit. A uh, bunch of people donated to the cause and uh, Jason actually finally made this really come through and sent some off to me. So we are gonna really put these on and, and see what they'll do for me. Uh, I haven't opened up the box, never tried these before. Uh, this will be an honest reaction. I know there's some out there that uh, people really get emotional, uh, but I also know that they, they don't work in 100% of cases. So we're gonna find out what happens, but first things first, let's get the tent set up. And so then we can move along to step number two. Today's shelter is the humble gazelle screen tent that pops right open.
I've got these wind panels that attach on the side of this thing. Now this is not actually designed to use for camping, for sleeping in. There is no floor on it, so if you're around an area with snakes or venomous spiders, you're not going to want to sleep in this. But uh, this is kind of designed for popping it up at the beach so you can have your picnics and whatnot. But I find in this environment, it works just fine. You can get a little heater going in here, which we will have tonight because it's going to dip down a little bit cool. So I'll just throw these on and then I want to try on those sunglasses or the Inchroma glasses and see what they're going to do. Shouldn't be any wind tonight to speak of. So we don't really need to tie it down too much. And once you get all the stuff in here, it kind of stops it from blowing away in the wind. Now for those who are not familiar, Enchroma glasses are for color blindness. And I have color blindness. It uh, doesn't really affect me too much. Uh, we'll see. Comes with balloons. Yeah, beautiful wife is here with me because I don't know if I can see color. I've, I guess I've never seen her in color before. I'll give you a few to blow up here. Oops. <laughs> okay. This beautiful wife does not really want to be on YouTube. And you know, who can blame her? YouTube's a strange one to be on. Oh, okay. Something's gonna pop here, I know it. Alright. Let's uh, test these out before the sun goes down. So they don't work in 100% of cases, and uh, yeah, anyways, here goes nothing. Hmm. Okay, well that's purple. Yeah, apparently you're supposed to wear them for a little bit uh, before things... Uh... Oh yeah, things are popping here, I can see it. Beautiful wife's expecting me to start crying. <laughs> I'm wondering where the waterworks are. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. Some people are really, uh, some people really start getting choked up. Uh, but it, yeah. Um, they work? I didn't know skin was this pink. Really? Yeah, I didn't. What does the red balloon look like to you? The red looks, uh, it looks really red. I see some red in those leaves. Yeah. The sky is actually looking kind of purplish redder. Like it looked before the glasses, uh, yeah, just blue overcast. Now I'm seeing some purples in there and stuff. Well, that may be the sheen over the glasses. Yeah. Well, yeah. I... Okay, well, this is orange. Yeah. Is it different? Oh, the yeah. On? Yeah. No, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. They work. They do. They work. Okay, well that is cool. I now I don't even want to finish setting up the the tent. Holy, yeah, I gotta go on a walk around uh, the woods here. Awesome! I want to try. <laughs> yeah, no, this is incredible. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, this will make editing the the video colors a snap. Maybe I don't know. Okay, yeah, go. yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, this is this is severely cool. Um, I am. I, I just can't stop looking at stuff. So, beautiful wife has said that I have to check out our uh, wedding photos because she chose these wedding colors that I just cannot see. So, step two, if there's ever been a day for a step two, is uh, yeah, me seeing everything um, in full color saturation and in 3D. That is uh, pretty, really, really cool. I didn't know it was that red. 
Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't have ever uh, spotted those in any serious, nice looking way. Would have just kind of looked brown. I can even see the little orangey spots on this. It would have looked brown to me. And we're not even under full sun power. Dip behind a cloud. I know it's these work best in full sun, but wow. I'm liking what I'm seeing. This is, wow, <laughs> this is so cool. And I had no idea my skin was this pink. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Wow, look at that one. Look in there. Cool campground, eh? Huh? It's even cooler on Enchromas. Okay, so this, I always thought this stuff on the trees was like brown, and apparently it's orange. This orange mossy stuff. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. I won't bore you guys with my uh, reactions of walking through the forest for too long. Oh, wow, that is a real deep green. Yeah, uh, we're going to have to get the the camping set up, but, oh, this is too neat. Holy, look at that one. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> You've seen it all before. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it's like being on drugs, I guess. Enough of me tripping out over colors most of you have seen before, but the one thing that was instant was I thought this box was blue as I was opening it. I didn't realize that until later, and even when I, if I take them off, which you're not supposed to, but I've had them on for a good hour now. Yeah, night and day. It goes instantly from blue to purple. And a fellow over there on the beach is wearing a, like a kind of bright orangey red jacket. Never would have noticed that before. Uh, that moss stuff on the tree. I can even see some here. It's orange. I always thought it was brown. So Hey, <laughs> they're doing the job for me. They don't for everybody. I know that but um, And I'm not paid to be saying this at all uh, But I think uh, yeah for the people that they work for they work great, and I'm one of them Sorry if people were expecting me to start uh, Getting choked up and I didn't know what would happen, but I guess I could see how it would be you know, a bit of a shock, uh, that's, that's for sure. But we're gonna get this camp set up so that we can uh, get a fire going. I'd love to see what a fire looks like uh, in color. And yeah, it's a great little place. Uh, I love this, uh, the spots that we find just by accident. Um, there was no signs on the highway pointing to this place. I only found it on the Google Maps when we had to find the closest open campground. So this is one for one for the book to remember. All right. Well, we're mostly set up. The other things to bring out, uh, like the heater, Mr. Buddy, that'll keep us warm. But I'm curious about this sunset out there and the rest of the campground. White sand beach, unreal. This is truly a hidden gem to remember for next year. And to remember a fishing rod too. Wow. I know where we're having breakfast in the morning. And the sun sets on another day, another day on this world. So it's time to start a fire. Starter log. I'm gonna try these. It's like a wax soaked bunch of wood chips. Should make short work of starting this beast of a fire. Now we had to uh, bring firewood from home. We have our own stash now, which is great that we've harvested off the property. That's good because they really don't want you picking through the woods. Not that there's actually much here to scavenge. And they don't come around to sell any, so here we are, burning home-brought wood. 
better than the gas stations that charge a million dollars for five pieces. That's all I have to say about that. There's my fire steel. <laughs> well, that smells like a pure candle. Now we sit back and hope. So this is a new one. Um, my beloved uh, butane stove, <laughs> I brought the wrong one. Uh, we had two actually with us on the last trip and they got put into the wrong cases. One of them was broken, which is this one, which is what we've been uh, planning on cooking dinner with. And sadly, they got put into the wrong cases and I grabbed the wrong one. And I've also used all my wood in the fire uh, as I was on the phone calling a bunch of people to tell them that I can see purple. So, uh, just taking a reevaluation here about uh, how and what I can cook for dinner. And it might be uh, a pretty dismal night as far as the food goes. After evaluating the options, sadly, dinner is going to be a few cheesy poofs, and then uh, there's going to be a humongous breakfast in the morning, because I'll probably be pretty hungry. So in the morning, I'm going to source a way to cook this stuff, whether that's firewood or another stove, but uh, this thing has a date with the recycling bin. I'm just going to have a fast for the night, after a few cheesy poofs, and then uh, the biggest spread of a breakfast you've ever seen in the morning. Mm. But it's getting a little chilly. I'm going to weasel into that tent there, coil up for the night, and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Well, an exciting day. Trials and tribulations, uh, ups and downs. You name it, uh, time to hunker down and uh, get ready for the biggest brunch you've ever seen in the morning. So, thanks for watching so far, everybody. Oh. Throw this behind me for a little pillow, because, uh, yeah, multi-tool jacket slash pillow. See you guys in the morning. Well, that was a pretty good sleep, but cheese-flavored corn snacks are not a complete dinner, and we are ravenously hungry. So I have to go into town and see if I can find a little stove so we can have our breakfast slash dinner out by the beach there. All right, we got the stove. Now time to get back and go cook some breakfast. Right on, time for the biggest breakfast in history. Got these pierogies frying up here. I uh, cooked up a whole package of bacon and I left that fat in there. So that's uh, basically I'm deep frying pierogies and garlic coil in bacon fat. So that'll stick to your ribs, uh, or clean you out, one or the other. Got some uh, onions in here. We're gonna throw in, uh, of course, uh, some eggs. Uh, I got a can of beans. This will be a nice full breakfast. I had to do it out here instead of actually on the beach. We'll go uh, snack on it out there, but uh, it's too windy. It's uh, Wednesday. It's uh, Wednesday when I'm filming this and it's windy. So, oh yeah, these. These rogies are looking good. All right, now we're talking. That's a breakfast. As you pick the bugs out of it, it's just fine. Quite a place. I gotta remember this place, definitely, for next year, or maybe later this year. But, uh, I do have to give a huge shout out to everybody that donated for the beer donation funds. This video is sponsored by beer donation subscribers. Uh, no Dollar Shade Club stuff here. Uh, 
and the uh, people that made the uh, the Nkrumahs possible because now I can um, see uh, which traffic lights are which without having to memorize the order of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, wonderful breakfast out on the beach. Uh, bacon, eggs, sausage, beans, pierogies. Yum. We are going to pack everything up and head back into town. We've got a stealther plan for the next video. We found just the perfect spot. And that's half the battle is trying to find the perfect spot for uh, a stealther. Because if it's uh, if it's too risky, I'm obviously going to get busted, and that's not the ge not not the goal of the whole thing. And if it's um, if it's too easy, where's the fun in that? So I found one that's just about right. And that is the uh, that is the plan. We're going to start filming that actually tomorrow or the next day. So that should be ready well in advance of Thursday. And uh, then after that, we have another one. We're going to double up. We're going to get a few of these ahead so that I can focus on. Um, putting other things on the Steve Wallace Step 2 channel. And uh, we're just really ramping up with the production schedule here. So I hope you guys have liked this. Uh, please subscribe if you do like this type of weird, weird stuff. Um, and if you have any suggestions for the uh, spin in the wheel camping roulette, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, try to put together kind of a, a kind of an actual uh, set of rules for the camping roulette. So until next time, guys, you have been camping with Steve. Cheers and hunker down at home and I'll see you guys next Thursday.